back to Educator.com's AP English Language and Composition course. This lesson is on rhetorical analysis practice. Let's get started. All right. In this lesson, we're going to be going over a real prompt from an actual AP English Language and Composition course essay. And so we're going to go over the prompt. We're going to go over two or three sample essays that the College Board has posted as examples. And we're going to go over what got each essay its particular score, how they worked, what to do, what not to do. So we're going to begin with where you can find the prompt that we're looking at and the sample essays. We're going to analyze the prompt. We're going to read the text. We're going to go over the scoring guidelines posted by the College, college Board. And we're going to look at the sample essays, also posted by the, by the College Board. And we're going to end with a set of tips for the rhetorical analysis essay when you have to tackle it on the test. All right, to begin with, the prompt. This prompt is available on the College Board's website. There should be a link in the quick notes. It is one of three actual free response questions used on the 2011 AP English Language and Composition test. It is question two in the packet, located on page 10 of the PDF. So you'll need to download the PDF and look at page 10. And the text that we're working from is a speech by a woman named Florence Kelly. All right, so we begin by looking at the prompt. What does the prompt give us? Well, it starts by giving us background information. It gives us the author's vital dates. She was born in 1859 and died in 1932, so you can place her in history. It tells you her profession, says she's a social worker, so chances are whatever she's talking about will have something to do with that. And her achievements, what she's known for. And in this case, what she's known for are child labor laws and improved labor conditions for working women. So we're probably going to be dealing with something related to labor and women and children. The prompt gives the context of the speech, the National American Women's Suffrage Association, July 22nd, 1905. Now, if you know your history, you know that 1905 is before women had the vote in the United States, and there was quite a debate about whether they should have it. But this is a conference of something called a Women's Suffrage Association, so chances are her audience was very much in favor of women having the vote. Good things to know. The prompt also has a focus. You're being asked to identify the rhetorical strategies that Kelly used to convey her message about child labor. So you're looking at the structure of the argument and you're looking at how it supports her point about child labor. So you will, of course, need to identify that point. Everything else in the passage will probably be secondary, but still potentially important. 